Well, hidey ho there, guys. It's me, Super Dave, and of course, I believe you are watching Milltown's Best. Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. It's one of them mornings. I'm in an extremely good mood today, and I really have no idea why. It could be the Prozac, but it could be a lots of other things, too. For example, um, I live with my brother, and, you know, we don't really talk about me much lately, but my brother's fiance, uh, she was recently diagnosed with a brain tumor, and she just had it removed. And that was about three weeks ago. So for the past three weeks, me and my brother have been taking care of her two little girls, uh, ages six and nine years old. And I have no kids, so watching these kids for the past three weeks has been hell. You know, I don't have children for a reason, but uh, I love these little stinkers and I hope I made it easy for them with their mother being away. It has been very hard for me. And my brother, you know, he lost his spouse there. She's been operated on. Her skull has been, you know, sawed open and they scraped off the tumor with an ice cream scoop. I know that's very vivid, but that's essentially what happened is they had to remove the tumor. You know, now she can't walk, but she's coming home today, which is going to leave us with a whole new load of problems. But we're going to take those. We're going to take the problems as they come and we're going to be grateful that she's alive. The cancer's gone. She's completely back to well she's about 70 percent i'd say she still can't walk fully and doesn't have full control of her arms but brain surgery is a real thing you know and the two girls are still in high spirits they're excited for their mom to come home so i think that's why i'm in such a great mood is because you know life is good you know there are blessings all around and we just got to take the time to see them i'm so excited for jamie to come home and we're gonna get her going and get her back to where she needs to be and that's what family is all about that's what friends do for friends is it not all right guys that's enough about me what i want to talk about today everyone is the influx of new faces coming into the commentary community and there is a lot of talent coming in here and the ones that i want to talk about today especially are uh, now recording i want to throw out to hujin uh hujin and uh twitter geek and pika they have a new show that they're doing and of course we got to talk about salvo and noddle and the new commentary tonight show those are the three shows i really want to dive into so let's just start off with now recording why don't we all right guys now i believe now recording has been around for a while here and it's uh, been really promoted heavily by Xylee Gets Real. She's really been pushing hard. But as you guys can tell, they have a pretty strong subscriber base and they're growing heavily. You know, we're at 1.28K subscribers. They've only got 45 videos and uh, they cover the commentary community. And if I were to say there's a, a breakout star of now recording, it's got to be Matt Pitt. I mean, Matt Pitt is really taking the social networking aspect of the commentary community to heart. He really is becoming the breakout star of them. And I believe they got Core. I believe his name's Core. Core is the producer. You'll always see him on Xylee's uh, channel a lot. Xylee features Core heavily. I had a few interactions with him when I was on um, Xylee's stream. And uh, he seems to be very level-headed, very well-spoken. Actually, all the now recording guys are very well spoken they seem to know their editing game you know they love their LUTs that's one thing I've noticed about now recording is they are very quick to put LUTs on anything that they put out um, and uh, and that's okay it's a very unique visual appearance uh, I love the text that they use and you know they're very competent and very well spoken and I enjoy their programming I thought they would have more subscribers by now honestly they have been getting pushed very heavily by Xylee and I know you guys are saying I so was only a 5,000 subscriber channel. Guys, 5,000 subscribers is quite a lot. I'm at 365 subscribers. Do you guys realize I have one subscriber for every day of the year? Put them in a gymnasium, put them in a, a, a town hall, and you got a pretty big crowd, you know, and that's regularly, which is no different than, you know, most public access channels in a major metropolitan area. So for those people that say our numbers are small, well, compared to guys like Mr. Beast and stuff, the numbers that now recording and everybody pulls are small. But for us, it's an audience. It's a core group of people. If you've been involved in the commentary community, you seem to know that there is a built-in audience 
and then there's the outliers and the outliers are the ones that a lot of these people like now recording and commentary tonight and especially Hujin with uh his new show that he's doing they're trying to pull in these outliers and you know that's gonna grow the commentary community and I feel that now recording really needs to do a little more of that they're catering very heavily to the niche commentary community and that's good for the short term but where's the growth gonna come I asked this question to mainly beavers core and matt pitt where's the growth coming from where do you guys see the now recording brand in the next year or two that's what i'd like to know that you know that's what i'd like to have answered but what they're doing right now is a solid start they are building a foundation with now recording and that's an amazing thing to see and uh, it's another new face that i will gladly support we may have got off on the wrong foot and I, that's partially my fault because i was just dumping raw thoughts out on the internet and you know i probably should have reined in some of my thoughts but like i said i stand behind everything i say and that's just a solid indicator of somebody that's set in their morals and values and that's me you know but uh now recording guys check them out give them a subscribe i guarantee you will not be disappointed they're very entertaining and uh if you don't mind staring at an avatar you know for a while which if you're watching milltown's best you obviously don't mind uh, I think you'll get a kick out of it. Guys, check out Not Recording, and uh, let's move on. All right, folks, we can't talk about new faces in the commentary community without talking about Twitter Geek. Huge in, right? Everybody knows Twitter Geek. He's very outspoken, and that's awesome. Everybody says that he is like a, a diet salvo pancakes, and I really don't see that comparison. First of all, the guy's English or something of the like, so I don't really feel that. Only thing I see in common is they both are very strong and set in their ways, and they have no problem vocalizing that. Hugin seems to be a good kid. He seems to be a good character. He's got a, a talk show that he does with this uh, woman named Pika, I believe is her name. And they've been doing some uh, good shows. I've been kind of checking them out. I even commented on one of their videos recently that they put out. And they're going, you know, hour, hour and a half, two hours. They have topics that they cover, which are pretty good. And uh, I, I like them. I enjoy them. You could tell that the Pika the pika co-host she's not very experienced but she knows her stuff and that's respectable you know you got to give twitter geek his props because he is platforming pika someone who doesn't have much experience but he's willing to let her grow with the channel this is a channel that's only got about 700 subscribers if i'm not mistaken uh so yeah, Hugin's at 770 subscribers, so it's a young channel, and for him to share the spotlight is really commendable, and I respect that. Nobody can say that he's a greedy individual that's only out to get his name out there. He's really trying to build a community, and this show that he puts on with this Pika girl, it's good. Guy's got to give it a chance. I know that his last show, let's see what he got. It's got four thumbs up. One of those is mine, of course. Um, it was released a day ago, and it's at 56 views, so it's not like it's that bad, and when you check out the vid iq scores i mean not horrible not bad you know it's awesome uh he's trying and we gotta respect that don't we guys when somebody is out there putting it all out for everybody to see you know we don't want to just make fun of that or, or trash that or put down everything that's wrong you know there's a pro wrestling uh, personality named paul Heyman. he ran ecw and his whole philosophy was accentuate the positives hide the negatives if you're really good at something we're gonna push the hell out of that but the stuff that you're not good at we're just not gonna mention it we're not gonna show that and i feel that hugin took a page out of paul Heyman's book and he does that with this show of his that he does with pika he's accentuating all the positive skills he has like his vocal ability his vocabulary i mean most englishmen have a great vocabulary but on hugin it really shows and when you got pika which is the american counterpart it's a really good balance and i feel it fits guys you guys gotta check out twitter geek show i wish does it does it have a name i uh, let's take a look I, I couldn't see if this has a show logic over insanity i believe is the name he's going with yeah the logic over insanity podcast i didn't know it even had a name so that's another thing is i like twitter geek man when you got a name like Hujin, Hujin, you know, when the pronunciation becomes more of an issue, then that becomes a branding issue in my opinion. So I'm just going to stick with Twitter Geek. Remember when I made the video about Abby and Twitter Geek? It was awesome. I got responses from both of them, and that's something I would like to set up in the future. 
um, I'm getting more and more involved in the commentary community. And as I build relationships, we'll see where it goes, guys. But, you know, that's for them to work out. We'll do what we can as Milltown's best. I'm always there to facilitate a conversation if they ever want to have one. But uh, you would think that Hugin would want to save that content for himself. So if he wants to have it, if he just needs a mediator between him and Abby, I'd be glad to do that. But um, I don't think we're going to be having that on the channel. So I just figured I would touch on that story with this story so we can kill two birds with one stone. And guys, again, check out Logic Over Insanity. Um, subscribe now. And let's move on now to the show that is stealing all the views from everybody else. Guys, we got to talk about salvo pancakes and we got to talk about commentary tonight i mean do we not like that's where it's at if if you ask me guys <laughs> salvo last night did commentary tonight with his new co-host noddle and it was an amazing amazing show seriously uh this is the second show i believe they did and if you guys noticed it looks like salvo's getting some subscribers back he's up to 8.39k so that's good to see and this show was only a few hours ago seven hours ago and it's already at 1.5 thousand views gaining 52 views per hour so those are some pretty impressive numbers not to mention salvo's return stream is still pulling numbers and that's still pulling in 36 views an hour so those are both doing good if you take a look at it right here we got 1.5 thousand views streamed seven hours ago and this was a really solid showing by both noddle and uh i almost called him keemstar holy shit and salvo pancakes what is going on like i said guys my mind is all over the place and uh it was a solid you know what do we have here two hours and 30 minutes long and salvo went balls to the wall and and addressed everything with keemstar it was a must-see show guys i don't know how else to uh, put it over this noddle kid is is honestly a good character he's a good kid he seems to have a good head on his shoulders you never see that many southern goths or emo boys whatever you guys want to call them but uh a southern gentleman with a uh, emo haircut who would have ever thought it but they're a good uh bonnie and clyde combination they mix well together it's a a very interesting dynamic and uh you know there was I'm not gonna lie, there was a little weed smoking going on. It was a very chill environment. Uh, Salvo calls out chatters. He said he's very transparent. And in the commentary community, everybody respects transparency, especially me. Nadal got a text message during the stream at one point. Salvo wanted to know what was going on. And basically, Nadal, the producer of the show, had got a text that he was being doxxed in the chat. And Salvo demanded that that chatter be outed and it was very impressive to see you don't see that nowadays uh salvo just went balls to the wall and said we're giving it all to the fans and that's awesome the commentary tonight logo in my opinion is a classic uh homage to the old school nbc logo it, this show reminded me so much of like a talk soup or um like a good morning America for the commentary community. I think there's a lot of potential here and I think it could really go places. I feel like I could sit here and ramble on about the commentary tonight, but you guys just gotta watch it. Salvo, I hope he does these at least once a week because there is so much room for growth here. Salvo went balls to the wall on Keemstar. He let, that was probably my favorite part of it all. He just did not give a fuck. He said this is it. He gave a, a blueprint design layout of Keemstar's house and then backed that up with video examples that Keemstar posted himself. And uh, he basically said Keemstar's broke. And uh, I can't wait to see all these uh, T channels and clip channels. I guarantee you so many of them are going to run with this story. It was just a great second showing for this commentary tonight. Actually had me go back and watch the first episode. So, you know, Salvo Pancakes is really growing, really showing his skills he's stretching out making room and uh i know he's an old face but i'm putting him in this whole category of new commentary youtubers because you know he's got noddle with him and it's a new presentation it's like a re-gimmicking a rebranding and i'm with it man i'm gonna go full on with this and i'm gonna continue covering salvo pancakes he's helping me out uh with numbers and covering him is really pulling in the views talking about salvo pancakes is more lucrative 
than talking about what the hails and these are like 500,000 subscriber channels they are channels that are pulling numbers but don't have the engagement like salvo pancakes salvo pancakes really makes the fans part of the show and i think that is really unique and something to be admired and uh, i'm gonna try to incorporate more of that with milltown's best i hope you guys uh hop on board for that but everybody check out commentary tonight on salvo pancakes main channel they also have a uh, separate channel called commentary tonight which you can subscribe to it's a really interesting program i highly recommend you guys check it out because you know if this show doesn't grow or if these other shows that we talk about don't grow what's the point of being in the community if you don't help something get bigger like i'll never understand these people that hate watch shows there's no point in it guys there's absolutely no point in hate watching something that's not gonna do anything for anybody it's 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 not helping the situation it's not gonna make the content any better so it's like why why even go down that road there's an absolutely no need to go down that road you know what i'm saying guys or am i just talking out of my ass at this point <laughs> with all that being said guys i highly urge you check out these shows the commentary community is growing and we have new faces including myself and uh i don't think any of us are going anywhere and i know we would all admire and truly be grateful for you know a like on our videos a subscription to the channels check it out you know join in and help the commentary community grow it's only gonna make things better for everybody and with all that being said guys i know this was a long one but i had to get a lot off my chest today and i hope you guys didn't mind that i'm not gonna go heavy with the editing and the b-roll today guys but you know you're just gonna get me and i hope that's okay all right guys with all that being said i love you go tell somebody else you love them and we'll see you later